this fight and that's the fight that I want. Um, she wants um, a voluntary in August, I think, so hopefully we can make it at the end of the year. But that's the big fight that I want. You're going to enjoy yourself on holiday, though. Are you going to relax? You're not training on holiday. No, I'm definitely having a nice relaxing time with my family. Well, have a wonderful time and congratulations. Thank you very much. Pretty amazing. I feel like I ought to say Nina Hughes when I'm talking to her, though. Let's go back to Julie at <laughs> Oxborough Hall. Jules. <laughs> Hi Susie. Well, sadly, no rain here today at Oxborough for the beautiful parterre garden behind me. But in the west of the region, some torrential downpours. At the moment, it looks like some of those have produced between 30 and 80 millimetres of rain. We've actually got some pictures taken earlier this afternoon at around three o'clock at Chicksands in Bedfordshire. Some torrential rain there with some hail mixed in. And down the road in Woburn, during one of the storms, temperatures plummeted from 28 degrees down to just 16. Now, talking of temperatures, away from the storms and the coast, it's been another very warm to hot day. Although if we bring on the first graphic I don't think we've topped this 31 degrees Celsius that Santon Danham in Suffolk and Marham in Norfolk hit yesterday that's 88 degrees Fahrenheit making it the warmest day of the year so far so tonight once the last of any showers and thunderstorms have gone it's dry and it's largely clear and it's going to be another warm one lowest temperatures tonight well for many of us 11 to 13 celsius but some of us may stay warmer than that some spots last night didn't fall below 17 celsius so the pressure chart for tomorrow shows developing high pressure over the UK, lots of yellow. So it's going to be another very warm to hot one for some of us. So if we move on to the map for tomorrow, a lot of summer sunshine. It's going to be strong sunshine, so you'll need the sun cream. Very high pollen count again, not great news for hay fever sufferers. And uh, temperatures tomorrow, probably mid-20s inland, might see a 28 or 29. But again, around the coast where we have an onshore wind, closer to average, perhaps sort of 19 to 21 degrees Celsius. And then the pressure chart for Wednesday shows high pressure in charge, and that stays with us. So the outlook is fine and dry all the way through until potentially next Monday, when we may see some showers. But for some of us, those dry conditions will continue. That is some outlook. Thanks a lot, Jules. That's